How's it going everybody? It's Warren and just a quick heads up, today is the final day to get 30% off G Fuel at gfuel.com if you use code COSMIC. So, Spider-Man, we have the MCU and we have the Sony-verse or the Sony Spider-verse, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, there was a ton of drama between the two of them. I don't need to recap that much. Everybody knows what happened. Everybody followed it. Spider-Man is back in the MCU for a couple of more films. But what happens now? What happens to Spider-Man's story arc? And what happens to some of Spider-Man's villains that Sony still owns the rights to, like Venom and Morbius? Well, today I have some good news for you because it's been reported that the two universes are finally going to collide. And they're going to be connected by one character. And it's not the character that you would expect it to be. It's not Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Nope, it is the one and only J. Jonah Jameson. As it seems, J.K. Simmons' character, JJJ is going to be the character that connects the Sonyverse to the MCU. So let's break down the report and what it means. Reminder, I'm still doing my Xbox One and PS4 giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment with your favorite superhero or villain. So recently, there has been a lot of talk about J.K. Simmons' character, J. Jonah Jameson, appearing in the upcoming Jared Leto movie, Morbius. Now, Morbius is a Spider-Man character that Sony owns the rights to. He originally debuted in The Amazing Spider-Man number 101. And of course, the movie is already in development right now over at Sony, coming out in July of 2020, with Jared Leto cast to play Morbius. And although Morbius is a Spider-Man character, with the Sony Spider-Verse being separate from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, nobody expected anything from Tom Holland's Spider-Man to be included in this movie. However, that is until now. It has been reported that J.K. Simmons will be reprising his role as J. Jonah Jameson in the upcoming Morbius film, effectively connecting the Morbius film that will exist in the Sony universe to Spider-Man Far From Home that exists in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this report comes from Thomas Polito of Geeks Worldwide. Now, this is actually a really big deal. It's the start to something pretty big. It's the first step to having Sony Spider-Verse connect to and interact with the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Now, we know that Sony has wanted this for some time now because we know that Sony wanted Tom Holland's Spider-Man to cameo in Venom. Marvel was the side with resistance to that. However, we do know that Sony and Disney slash Marvel just worked out a deal. We don't really know the specifics of this deal. However, we do know that it does seem like the worlds are colliding, with Marvel sharing the character J. Jonah Jameson, who was in the MCU in Spider-Man Far From Home with Sony in their Spider-Verse film, Morbius. Now, this is just the start. What this is most likely leading up to, and this is just my speculation at this point, is Venom. We recently had a plot leak for Venom 2 that says Tom Holland's Spider-Man will cameo in it at the very end, setting up Spider-Man to be in Venom 3. And with J. Jonah Jameson being in the MCU and in the Spider-Verse, this sets up Spider-Man to be in both the MCU and the Spider-Verse as well. And if we have a film with Spider-Man who exists in the MCU and exists in the Spider-Verse interact with Venom, that means that Venom will exist in both universes as well. So this is a big deal. This is a character that connects the two universes together that could ultimately lead to a bigger connection and a bigger crossover, which is something that a lot of people have wanted for a very long time now. So what do you think about this news? What do you think about J. Jonah Jameson connecting the two universes together? I think it's awesome. I think it would be really funny just to see him on TV and that little tidbit right there is what really connects the universes. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can enter my giveaway and stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU and the Spider-Verse. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.